Welcome to the next generation of RPR reports. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through accessing the reports, customizing them to your preferences, even creating your own templates, and finally running your reports, which now have a live link that refreshes the report every 48 hours when clicked. There's a few ways to access the new reports. From the top navigation bar, select Reports, then choose your specific RPR template here, or if you've created your own template, select My Report Templates. If you've selected a specific template, enter in your report location and title of your report, click Continue, and the report editor will launch. That's the most direct route, but you can also access reports from any Property Details page, Search Results page, or the map. Select Create Report, then choose your template or select My Templates or RPR Templates to go to the library of all templates available. Reports come with their own pre-selected selections, but you can customize the reports to whatever works best for your client or situation. I'm going to walk you through the seller template. We go more in detail for schools, market activity, property flyers, CMA, and neighborhoods in their own videos, but how you customize and run the reports works the same throughout. From the report templates, choose seller. We can title it here. If you don't name it, it will default to the template name. This name does show on the upper right of your report. Now we're in the report editor. As you can see, your report title is here on the upper right. If you want to change the name, select edit and you can update the report title here. Select save changes to save your changes. This is also the area where you can change your report location. If you want to create multiple reports and don't want to leave the report editor, you can just update your report location and the new report will be generated below once you select Save Changes in this menu. Be sure to either run the report or save a draft to not lose any work you've done on the individual reports. On the left sidebar, find your customization options. In the Customize tab, you can fully edit your report and see those changes instantly in the preview. To view your full report screen, select the X, and to bring back your customization options, just select Customize again. Use the arrows to expand and collapse each section, check or uncheck the elements you want in your report, and watch it update within the viewer panel. Every time you open a section, you'll automatically be scrolled to that item. Let's say I don't want the map showing in the property summary section on this report. Simply uncheck the box and elements below roll up in the report to create the best use of space. You can also select the trash can icon to delete a section, but note that the full section will delete. For instance, if you're deleting one of the photo pages, the whole section will be removed when you select the trash can icon. But if you wanted to be more precise, you could go to the photo section and individually choose which photos to include or exclude on your report. To quickly go back to the standard settings for the report, select reset here. Rearrange the sections by dragging and dropping the element. You cannot move individual elements out of one section into another, but anywhere you see these gray blocks to the left of an element, you can drag and rearrange. Add all section elements by selecting the checkbox here or unselect the entire section the same way. Each section also identifies how many individual elements are in that section and how many you have selected. You can see here that we don't have any of the map showing, but we have six out of the 14 market trends showing. Edit your cover page by selecting Edit Cover or choosing the Cover Page tab on the left. Here you can change your cover page photo. Scroll to the right to view all photos. Select View All to see all the images on the property. Use the photos you've added from the Property Details page or mobile app, the historical photos, or even map views if available. If you've not already added your own photos, select Add Photos and upload them here. Select the checkbox in the upper left corner of the photo to use it as your cover photo. Move back to your cover page elements by selecting the back arrow at Property Images. Customize what elements from your profile you want shown on your report, or select Edit Profile to change and update your personal photo, logo, name, email, phone, etc. Personalize the message you want on your report, view every change you make as you make it. 
Select the Custom Pages tab to add or upload your own PDF files. You might include a page containing your biography and other professional information for your clients to see in their report. This is also an excellent way to showcase testimonials, additional statistics, and specific marketing tools and methods you employ for your clients. We have created custom Canva templates on the RPR blog that you can access to create your own custom pages. Check them out at rpr.me backslash canva dash pages. Select add page to upload PDF files from your system. You can upload a max of five pages that are no larger than 10 megabytes. It's best to clearly name these files for future use. Select the page you want inserted in your report and then from the customize tab, drag and drop the custom page where you'd like it to appear in your report. And if your company has uploaded PDF files through the broker tools, they will appear here as well. The notes tab will showcase any notes you've added to the report from the property details page or RPR mobile app. You'll see an annotation of where you added the note from the update section, which is a general note, or from individual sections on the property details like the property facts. Select the notes you want to appear in the report. The Photos tab will show all the photos associated with the property, including photos you've uploaded yourself. Unselect any photos you don't want on the report. And the Profile tab links you back to edit your profile, which is where the information is pulled for your cover page. Back to the customized view, we can clearly see all the elements available for the report. Your report updates as you make changes. In the viewer, increase or decrease the size of the report and see how many pages your report is. Remember, if at any point you want to go back to the pre-generated settings of this report, select Reset, or continue to open each of your elements and craft your report exactly how you want it. Scroll through the viewer to see the entire report before running it. Note, this report has not been run yet or saved. Once your report is ready, you have a couple options. First, you'll want to save this report as a draft. So if you're not ready to run it, you can come back to it at any time. Also, if this report is what you'd like all your seller's reports to start off as, then you can save this report as a template. This means the selections you've made will save and you can quickly run this exact report for any property with those presets already crafted. Select Save as Template, then name your template name and select Save Template again. This will now show in your report templates. Now, if you're ready to share this report, select Share. Copy Dynamic Link generates a link to the report that will automatically update every 48 hours when clicked. Email emails that same link to yourself or a client with a personalized message. And Share to Social allows you to share your report to Facebook, LinkedIn, or X. Last, you can also download a static PDF version of your report by selecting Download here. A new browser window will open with a PDF of your report that you can save to your desktop. It's important to note that the reports update every 48 hours now, so if you're sharing a link to the report and list price or the status of the listing changes, that will reflect in the report link. To have a copy of the report that does not update, you need to download the PDF and save to your own files. Once your report has been saved, you can access it from the My Reports tab. Select the report to go back to the report's editor and make additional changes, or select the three dots in the upper right corner of the report to download, copy dynamic link, email, share to social, or delete the report. To circle back, you can access all the pre-made templates as well as any templates you've created in the Templates section. Templates are the preset selections to building your report. You'll need to go from any Create Report button and choose My Templates to go to your personalized templates or enter in a report location from a selected template to go to the reports editor. You can filter the residential and commercial reports here. My Reports will show all the reports you've generated. Again, you can filter residential or commercial or view all reports. Show as a list or grid and you can also filter them from this sidebar. And the Reports Editor is where the action happens and you fully customize your report the way you want it. Now you are all set to start generating and customizing your own reports. Happy reporting!